Hello Scorpio, welcome to another you and them love reading. This reading will focus on how you feel about each other, what's going on in your connection, and what is the potential outcome. So let's get into this for Scorpio. What messages do you have for... Well, that was a terrible shuffle, hold on. What messages do you have for Scorpio, please? Why can I shuffle this up? What's going on? For Scorpio, please. I don't know what is going on. I have not had any other difficulties with this deck with the other side, but the minute I start a Scorpio reading, oh boy. Any messages for Scorpio, please? What messages do you have for Scorpio, please, Spirit? Let's get your energies first for each other and what's going on here. Tell me about Scorpio's energies at this time in this connection, Spirit. What are Scorpio's energies in this connection at this time? Man holding a heart. So either you are making some sort of an offer to someone or someone you're wanting someone to make an offer to you. Tell me about Scorpio's person. <laughs> Man holding a coin. Okay. <laughs> so you're both like mirroring each other. You both want to make an offer of some sort to each other. Okay. For Scorpio. What's going on in this connection? That's way too many. What are the mutual energies here for Scorpio? Blossoming abundance, beautiful. Potential for growth for something um, to manifest here. Okay. So let's get some more information about these energies. Now Scorpio, keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with everyone watching. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, check out my playlist for Scorpio. And if it does resonate, then leave me a message down below. Tell me if it resonates, how it's resonating for you. I love hearing from you all. Help me clarify these energies. Show me what I need to see. Tell me about man holding a heart. Let's see if we can get some more information here. Tell me about man holding a heart. What did I get too? Interesting. Knight of Pentacles, Reverse Queen of Wands. Scorpio. So this offer has been really uh, slow. Almost at a standstill. Almost like there was a pause. But this is something that you want. You're attracted to this. You're motivated. There is... Um, a need to go after it even if it feels like it would take forever to arrive or even if it's there's a lot of obstacles in the way okay let's see tell me about man holding a coin could also be that you have a lot of love for someone but are unable to commit at this time but there's love and passion i feel like your person though like they're ready to commit tell me about man holding a coin eight of swords reverse no longer fearful or scared no longer feeling stuck in a situation seeing a way out of their situation maybe this is about some sort of opportunity i have the three of swords reverse at the bottom your person could be um, dealing with some sort of interference, keeping them stuck, but I feel like they, there's an opportunity for them here. We'll see. Tell me about blossoming, blossoming abundance. Why is blossoming abundance here? Three of Wands reverse. Again with like 
time. There's impatience, potential to miss the boat. Someone didn't plan very well. Someone has been waiting forever. This is going to be an interesting reading. I can already tell. So we'll see if um, there's more cards that come out regarding timing, time. I feel like this might be one of those readings where a lot of time has passed or there's been a lot of waiting on both sides. We'll see. Let's get into the reading here. Tell me more for Scorpio, please. Sir. Now Scorpio, keep in mind this is a general reading like I said. And the energies can be flipped, so flip it if it resonates more for you. But to avoid confusion, you're on this side for me and your person's on the other. For Scorpio, in love, Scorpio season. Well, when I'm filming this, it's Scorpio season. Scorpio. Huh. There's a three of wands. Three of wands, ace of cups. Like someone's been waiting for love. Waiting for someone to arrive with an offer of love. Tell me about Scorpio's energies, please, spirit, in this connection. What are they thinking or feeling about this connection or this other person? For Scorpio, please. Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Divine timing, good luck, good fortune. Sorry about the noise in the background. My neighbor's cutting the grass. For Scorpio. What are their energies? Some, some sort of momentum, Scorpio, moving forward. Five of swords, reverse. Some sort of momentum moving forward here with the wheel of fortune. Five of Swords, Reverse, Overcoming Conflict, Possible Reconciliation, Someone Waving the White Flag, Tell me about Scorpio's energies, Four of Cups, Reverse, Change of Heart, Renewed Interest in Something from the Past, Being Open to an Opportunity. Queen of Pentacles, Reverse, King of Pentacles. Wow, this is not a couple that's doing very well. Scorpio, you could be in a connection right now uh, that's not, you're not seeing eye to eye, you're not working very well together. Or perhaps in the past with this person, things didn't work out. You weren't on the same page. Tell me about Scorpio's person. What are their energies? This connection, please. Tell me about Scorpio's person. The Hierophant. Taurus energy. Something with commitment on this person's side. Tell me about Scorpio's person. What are their energies, please? Very traditional, could be a Taurus. They could already be in some sort of a commitment or have commitment on the brain. Nine of Cups reversed. Almost like they wanted commitment and didn't get it. Or they're very unhappy right now. Maybe they thought they were going to have fulfillment with a certain commitment and it didn't work out that way. I'm so sorry about the noise in the background. If you can hear it. Tell me more for Scorpio's person, please. The lovers reverse Gemini energy. Regret over a choice. Someone making the wrong choice. Could be a separation as well or a disconnect. Ace of Swords. 
Someone's having clarity. Your person has had a clarity about a certain choice they made, Scorpio. They might want to talk about this too. What are the mutual energies here for Scorpio? The mutual energies here for Scorpio and this other person. Wow. Two of Cups reverse, Queen of Wands reverse. So there was some sort of separation between you. What's this? Eight of Cups reverse. I feel like someone wants to return to this. Yeah, but how? That's what I heard. But how? <laughs> how do I bring this offer? How do I reconnect with this person? Why am I shuffling this deck? I'm not going to use it anymore. All right, hold on. <laughs> Let's clarify these, Scorpio. Help me clarify these energies, Spirit. For Scorpio, please. Clarify these energies, please. For Scorpio. If I could... me what I need to see. Well, starting off already, the cards are going crazy. Show me what I need to see. So someone's been waiting for an offer to come in. And I feel like maybe there, this has been a situation where um, there have been difficulties on both sides or at least on one of your sides. You've been fighting back or, or dealing with difficult problems or people but it's like you haven't given up on this idea of a new opportunity of a long-term commitment okay tell me about the wheel of fortune why is the wheel of fortune here for scorpio this could all have been you know divine timing things happening in the timing they are meant to happen. Nine of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Wheel of Fortune. Ten of Swords Reverse. Ten of Swords Reverse. This is an ending that has already taken place. A difficult ending. Someone could be asking for forgiveness or wanting to move on from something that ended. I feel like you, you are moving on or have moved on from an ending of some sort and are doing things on your own, single, independent. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune, please. Can I get one more? And this is like momentum propelling you forward. Page of Pentacles. Maybe some sort of offer that you want to make to someone else. Now that you're single. Why is the Five of Swords reverse? It's the Five of Swords here. Seven of Pentacles. Someone's wondering if reconciliation is a possibility. If there's potential for something to happen. There's doubts. You're not you're not someone. I feel like you're having doubts, Scorpio. Really? My neighbor <laughs> decided to use like the loudest equipment today. Seven of Pentacles. This is someone that's kind of like planting seeds and wondering if they will grow, if they'll have a good harvest, if their investment has been worth it, if this is going to pan out. But because it's with the Five of Swords reverse, I feel like this is in regards to like the conflict being overcome. 
the difficulty being overcome. Tell me about the Five of Swords reverse, please. King of Cups reverse, Page of Cups reverse. There's heartbreak here, disappointment, emotional attachment. Someone hasn't let, you haven't let this go, Scorpio. I feel like you were possibly very hurt in the past by what happened. And I feel like you haven't been able to really let it go. And almost like in the back of your mind, you always um, thought, what if, what if? Could it have, could have, could things work out again or could it have gone, could it have worked out back then? Sorry, I can't talk. I feel like you are, you were heartbroken by a departure or heartbroken by almost like um, it could have gone either way. Either you were broken hearted because you had to walk away or someone walked away from you and broke your heart. Why is this Four of Cups reverse? King of Swords reverse. Why is this Four of Cups reverse? Six of Swords. I feel like you have had a change of heart or a change in your mind about whatever happened. Maybe you were lying to yourself for a long time or not being really honest about how you felt. Tell me about the Four of Cups reverse. Maybe you didn't see an opportunity that was right in front of you. And now I feel like maybe you closed yourself off to an opportunity. Three of Swords reverse. It's almost like wanting to leave to heal or um, maybe you are leaving a third party situation or you're leaving someone for this other person. Three of Swords came out with the Ten of Cups reverse. You could have a family or are just very unhappy. I feel like you're tired of being unhappy. And it's like you want at least you want to take it. Uh, it's almost like um, all you needed was a like a little push. That's all it took. Because you, this had already been working on you for a long time. What an interesting message. It's like something, something here. This, this wheel of fortune. I feel like it was divinely guided. This wheel of fortune. But I feel like this Wheel of Fortune, all it did was show you a very small opportunity and you were so desperate for a change or so unhappy where you currently were that you took it. We're about to take it. Sorry for the sounds of me um, swallowing my coffee. <laughs> I had a comment once that someone didn't like it. <laughs> so let's see what's going on with this higher font why is this higher font here now feel free to flip the roll Scorpio but this for me is your person why is the higher font here six of Pentacles. Empress. Wow. There's that a blossoming abundance. This is about um hmm. Restoring balance. Give and take. So someone wants to restore balance and grow with you, expand with you. What's going on here? The Queen of Wands reverse at the bottom again. Five of Swords. Wow. This could be someone. Hmm. 
What? Who is this? Hold on. Tell me about the Hierophant. Path towards, wow. Tower Justice, Nine of Wands. I'm not gonna take these, but these did fall out and for some reason I wanted to look at them. So apparently this, this person you're dealing with is having some sort of shakeup, Scorpio. Maybe a divorce. This could also have been what happened in the past between you. It was very difficult for this person and now they haven't given up on restoring balance even though everything ended. So I feel like you're both marrying each other. You haven't given up on each other. I feel like that's going to be the title for this video. You haven't given up on each other. Regardless of what's happened for, you know, in your lives. Why is this nine of cups reverse? <laughs> nine of wands, okay. That nine of wands is very, um, very special. If this card is kind of like sticking out to you, by the way, look it up on Google. There might be a message there for you. Nine of Wands has a lot of uh, messages. Tell me about the Nine of Cups reverse. But what I'm seeing here is like, even though someone didn't get their wish, they didn't give up. Why is the Nine of Cups reverse? Wheel of Fortune reverse. Five of Wands reverse. Judgment reverse. Maybe this person made a mistake. Maybe their judgment was blocked in the past, but they have the Wheel of Fortune reverse on their side and you have it upright on your side. So it's almost like this person's, um, they made a bad judgment call that possibly put a stop to things between you or they, um, they felt like nothing was working out for them. They didn't get their wish. They didn't get what they wanted. Uh, life was at a standstill. They just kept making mistakes. But I feel like in the back of their mind, they were thinking about overcoming conflict, no more drama, regardless of how difficult things have been with you out of the picture or between you, this person hasn't given up. I'm also hearing they haven't given up on the idea that's going to be for some of you of a second chance. So it's going to be for some of you out there. Why is the lovers reverse? Gemini energy here. Why is the lovers reverse? Queen of cups. So I feel like this person, um, you know, there's still love here. I have the queen of cups on their side. And then for you, I have the king of cups reverse with the page of cups reverse. So I feel like you're both kind of like emotionally invested here. Tell me about the lover's reverse. So who's this queen of wands reverse? Temperance reverse, Sagittarius energy. This could be timing as well. Knight of swords reverse. Four of wands, seven of wands, interesting. Knight of Swords reverse. This is usually like verbal conflict, deception. Someone that just says the truth but doesn't care how they deliver it. Temperance reverse. This is someone that needs something needs more time, more effort to come into balance. Something's off balance here. It's almost like this person didn't tell you something. And it's kept things from becoming balanced. Maybe they didn't tell you that they still loved you or that they cared about you. They have feelings for you. And so the opportunity hasn't been there.
But I feel like this is all because of the way they've been thinking. They've been stuck in fear, overthinking, feeling like they didn't have a way out. But I feel like they're overcoming that. And for some reason, this Queen of Wands reverse is really throwing me off. I don't think this is either of you. This could be somebody outside of you. Tell me about this Two of Cups reverse. Or perhaps one of you made a really serious mistake, didn't think about the consequences of your actions, and it caused a separation. King of Pentacles. Tell me about the Two of Cups reverse. This King of Pentacles, for me, um, typically he's already married or in a long-term commitment. Hermit, Virgo energy. There could be... um very little communication between you perhaps someone's really doing some serious thinking about the separation with the hermit tell me about the two of cups reverse it's like someone's thinking about a separation or trying to figure something out regarding a separation yeah eight of cups high priestess reverse have eight of cups, I have six of swords on your side, Virgo. This could be you. It's almost like you're thinking about a departure, but it's like a secret and, and that's coming out. It's like you're keeping, someone's keeping something to themselves. And I feel like that needs to come out. And it's about a separation. Tell me about the Queen of Wands reverse. Wow, Queen of, not Queen, Knight of Pentacles, what am I saying? The Tower and the Justice card. Wow, Ace of Swords reverse at the bottom, yikes. So I feel like this Queen of Wands reverse, I'm getting several messages here. I'm going to try and narrow it down to two because I feel like that will probably cover a lot of bases. For one group of you, this is a decision that one of you made that caused the tower one of you caused this tower and you want to make things right and you feel like that can be made right with a special offer or with a, with an offer that's taking a long time but i don't think there's communication about that yet that's that's group one for the other others of you i feel like this is someone outside of you that is going to be very upset at the fact that there's going to be a tower. Either you're going to in initiate a tower with this person or the, your person, Scorpio, is going to initiate a tower with this person. And um, it might even be like a divorce or something like that. A big blow up here that pisses someone off. But that's exactly what's needed to bring about this offer. So that's two groups that I'm seeing there. The Ace of Swords reverse, uh, this is some sort of like verbal conflict or deception. I feel like th this this tower is because someone here, whether this you're in group one or group two, this tower is because there was deception at some point that either was discovered or that someone, someone deceived the other person. So let's see, what is the potential outcome? for you Scorpio and this other person so I'm going to pick a few cards here what's the potential outcome here for the near future between Scorpio and this other person what's the potential outcome here two of cups reverse so there's some sort of separation that is still ongoing or that is going to take place here so if this is a third party I feel like the third party, there's going to be something happening there. Potential outcome, please, for Scorpio. This other person. Death reverse. There you are, Scorpio. Resisting an ending. Unable or unwilling to change or end a situation.
And this could be that you haven't given up on each other. So neither of you wants this to end completely. Or it could be that whoever is doing this separation or initiating this separation, there could be pushback from that other person. Potential outcome for Scorpio and this other person. King of Wands. Yeah, there is like no stopping this person. And then this card kind of wanted to come out with the King of Wands. Magician. Yeah, are you kidding me? This is someone that this is someone that's manifesting. Um, and so there's nothing really gonna get in their way, this King of Wands. I think that might be you, Scorpio, but it could be your person as well. There's someone manifesting, and it's like they have the courage to follow through. Bottom of the deck, temperance, Sagittarius energy. I feel like this is all about slowly bringing something back into balance, into harmony. Time. There's something here about time. I had the Seven of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. These are all cards about time. I also had the temperance card here, reverse, for your person side. So I feel like this has been either a long time coming or a lot of time has passed. Something like that. But I feel like there's going to be some sort of shift here. This King of Wands, like they are motivated, but not just motivated, they're taking action. The Magician is someone that takes action. They use all their tools at their disposal to make something happen. They have the power to make something happen. So I don't think this is someone that's just, you know, imagining things or, or plan, you know, they're just, or just planning. There's some sort of action that's going to happen here. Um, don't forget to leave me a comment if this resonated for you. Hit the like button and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel for free. And thank you so much for everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in another video. Take care.